uh, uh, the Arkansas Storm Team. Good afternoon, everybody. I am Chief Meteorologist Keith Monahan from KERK4, joined by Chief Meteorologist Jeff Baskin from Fox 16. A tornado warning has been issued for parts of Pulaski and Saline Counties. Arkansas Storm Team has been activated for Fox 16 and KERK4. Jeff? Uh, what we're tracking is the leading edge of those storms that we've been tracking moving across western Arkansas, now getting into central Arkansas, and there was a brief spin-up, a very well-defined spin-up, just between Congo and Ferndale, almost right along Congo-Ferndale Road. We did not get a report of anything. However, that spun up very, very quickly. So we're looking for any damage reports along Congo-Ferndale Cutoff Road, between, uh, especially between Ferndale and Congo, northern Saline County of Benton and parts of southwestern Pulaski County. That area of storms that we're tracking now moving into Pulaski County between Congo and Ferndale. I'm going to stop the radar here and what we'll do is I'm going to show you exactly where that rotation is that we're concerned about. It's now getting close to the Spring Valley area of Pulaski County. So this is getting close to uh, parts of West Little Rock. The uh, indication of rotation looks like it has weakened a little bit though, but we still do have, we still are concerned about the possibility of some uh, rotation associated with this storm. Uh, right now that rotation looks like it's going towards the Spring Valley area of Pulaski County. Keith? Well, thanks, Jeff. Uh, let's zoom out a little bit on that, Jeff, and show everybody at home who needs to be taking cover. Of course, the Ferndale area, Spring Valley, everyone enclosed within this red box. That's where that tornado warning is in effect. It includes the Congo area, Terrytown, as well as Geyer Springs, the city of Little Rock, all the way down to the south, including Iron Springs, and along Interstate 30, south and west of Little Rock. If we can shift that map northward a little bit, Jeff, uh, we'll be able to see along Interstate 30, the Bryan area. You're hearing sirens in Saline County going off, uh, also off to the north, uh, just across the river in North Little Rock. You folks are under that tornado warning siren sounding in North Little Rock as well. It includes the Bryan area, as I mentioned, Alexander in both Pulaski and Saline counties, all the way back to the Congo area, almost to Benton. In Saline County, sirens sound for the entire county. This warning only includes the Bryan area and points off to the north. But at any time that you feel your safety is threatened, if you hear those sirens going off, and those thunderstorms in your area move to a safe location because there have been indications, at least on radar, of a, at least a brief spin-up associated with the leading edge of those severe thunderstorms that have been producing uh, quite a bit of wind damage, over 30,000 without power at this point to the north and west of the Little Rock metro area. That rotation, at least at last check, uh, a little bit weaker now, but located in the Spring Valley area. But you folks in Ferndale, you're still in that danger area and that tornado warning, so you need to be moving to your safe location in Ferndale, even though the strongest part of that thunderstorm may be to your southeast. Uh, the Twin Springs area, that is very near where that rotation would be right now. That would be along Colonel Glen Road uh, to the west of Twin, the ten, Twin Springs area back toward the Saline pulaski County line. Also, Spring Valley, you were ahead of the strongest part of that thunderstorm, but move to your safe location immediately. That tornado warning also uncovers, uh, also covers most of the Little Rock metro area. Sirens sounding not only in Little Rock and North Little Rock, but across many portions of Pulaski County. But again, this warning from Little Rock and a small part of North Little Rock southward to near the, Bry the Benton area, it does include the city of Bryant, as well as rural rural areas of Saline County would be considered in the Alexander mailing address. Along Canis Road, that's what we are seeing also that indication of that rotation. Uh, Stewart Road back toward Colonel Glen Road near Chanel Parkway. In that general area is at least where a short time ago there was a brief spin-up associated with the rotation of that thunderstorm. No reports from the National Weather Service or spotters of any confirmed funnel clouds of, or tornadoes, but at this point, at least a short time ago, radar was was indicating the possibility that there could be a tornado or possible tornado develop with this severe thunderstorm as it moves off to the southeast. Now that warning continues down Congdale, uh, I should say Congo Ferndale Road, south of Colonel Glen Road, all the way down to the community of Congo, back toward the Bryan area. And if Jeff, we can shift the map uh, a little bit more northward so we can see the Benton Bryan area to show where that uh, that cutoff is at this point where that warning is located. Now you folks in uh
Benton, uh, the city itself, at least the location of Benton, where the map puts it, is not officially in the warning. However, you need to be taking your cover because you're at this point very close to where that tornado warning ends. But most definitely the Bryant area, uh, rural parts of Saline County with an Alexander mailing address, also the city of Alexander in both Pulaski and Saline counties, as well as Mablevale and areas up to the Little Rock metro area across the river into a small part of North Little Rock. But again, if you're in North Little Rock, you're hearing sirens going off. Move to your safe location if you feel your safety is threatened, even if you are not in that tornado warning area. Uh, Jeff has just indicated we're at least the last check and we're at least we're seeing some indication of that rotation located uh, just to the east of the Saline Pulaski County line by a few miles uh, just to the south of the Spring Valley area. And again, that rotation with that severe thunderstorm with the possible tornado moving southeast at 40 miles per hour. Jeff? So what I'm looking at here, the rotation itself has weakened quite a bit, but where you see these brighter greens, that's an indication of some very strong winds now coming across, uh, say, uh, Highway 10 over towards uh, Taylor Loop Road over towards Rawling, so coming up uh, Highway 10 towards uh, Cantrell and the 430 Bridge area, watch out for some strong winds. These look like straight line winds at this point, but those winds can be very strong. We've had some reports earlier across parts of western Arkansas of winds 60 to 70 miles per hour, and don't, es don't underestimate the damage that those kind of winds can do because they can do some pretty considerable damage, especially to temporary structures such as uh, trailer uh, homes or any mobile homes. Uh, you may want want to uh, try to seek some sturdier shelter if you can. Those kind of winds can flip over okay, mobile Jeff. homes. Uh, we just uh, just a few minutes ago, National Weather Service uh, spotter confirmed by the National Weather Service uh, reported a funnel cloud with that storm we've been talking about. Uh, not on the ground this point, but at least at this point, with that circulation about six minutes ago, reports of a funnel cloud by a train storm spotter, and this was relayed by the National Weather Service. Well, if we take you back to, uh, on the radar, back to about 538, we had a clear indication of rotation moving across Congo Ferndale Road towards Pulaski County, and then we take the next radar sweep getting towards about 540. Uh, that rotation, as it weakened, just crossed over the Saline Pulaski County line, just south of Colonel Glen Road by about two to three miles. That sounds like that's about where that funnel cloud report was. Uh, no report that there was anything on the ground. And since that time, that rotation really has fallen apart. However, as it's done so, we have more of an indication of some strong straight line winds, especially now coming across uh, Chanel Parkway and Rawlings. Some strong winds now uh, by the uh, Chanel Country Club heading towards, oh, say, uh, Chanel over towards the Hinson area of West Little Rock, as well as over towards uh, parts of Highway 10. And this is heading towards the, uh, the Pleasant Ridge area. This area here where you see the bright greens and blues, this is not rotating. However, this is strong winds. This looks like this could be a strong winds, possibly up to about 60 to 70 miles per hour in gusts. And that continues to intensify now as we get the uh, latest radar scan. Now the uh, indication of strong winds just about crossing over a Taylor Loop over towards Highway 10, that intersection heading towards a Pleasant Ridge. Uh, the uh, possibility of some very strong damaging straight line winds associated with this storm. Now the tornado warning is still in effect. However, a larger area, including the Little Rock metro area, is under the severe thunderstorm warning, and that would cover those straight line winds. So take this storm seriously. Uh, the tornado threat at this point looks low. However, the damaging wind threat is very significant. So this is still a very dangerous storm. Stay away from windows. Uh, get to the lowest level of your house if possible. Remember, even if it's not a tornado, even if it's strong straight line winds, those strong straight line winds can bring down large trees. They can bring down power lines. And they can be every bit as dangerous as a low wind tornado. So uh, take this storm seriously, especially right along Highway 10, heading towards the, uh, the Pleasant Ridge area. That's where we have some uh, strong winds, uh, radar indicators. Uh, possibly some winds uh, up to about, oh, say, uh, 
60 to 70 miles per hour. And this area along Highway 10 is actually under the severe thunderstorm warning, which goes until 6 p.m. The tornado warning itself looks like it's going to expire, uh, uh, I think also expires at 6 p.m. That's right, the tornado warning expires at 6 p.m. That will probably be allowed to expire. However, the severe thunderstorm warning, I believe, is going to be extended in time and coverage to uh, include more of the Little Rock area. That's the area of main concern now. It looks like that's along Highway 10. The rotation itself that we were tracking on radar looks like that has really fallen apart, Keith. Well, that's right, Jeff. Uh, let's switch over to the uh, the reflectivity mode, show folks where the heaviest rain is falling. Let's zoom out a little bit, Jeff, and kind of show you the, the general feel in the Little Rock metro area. Uh, you folks in Bryan, even down toward near the Benton area, sirens still sounding in Pulaski and Saline counties. Move to your safe location. Although we did indicate that rotation, at least the indication of rotation has weakened considerably and that there are some indications of straight line damaging winds along Highway 10. The area in this red box still under that tornado warning includes East End, Parkers, the greater Little Rock metro area. Also across the river, across the Arkansas River for a small part of North Little Rock uh, up to about Interstate, the Interstate 40 interchange with 67, 167 and Interstate 30 up by that big church at that interchange there. The Rain now moving into the Spring Valley area. The strongest winds will be arriving with that heaviest rain, and those strong winds could cause almost tornado-like damage. We've had multiple reports of large trees being down, taking down power lines, causing over 30,000 power outages at this point. Also, that possibility of trees coming down on homes. So if you are in advance of this storm and you have a large tree outside your home that you're worried about, try to find a safer location. If you don't have a safer place to go and a, a, a very sturdy structure away from that large tree near your home. Go to the lowest floor of your home in a place where you could be more protected because we also have reports of trees coming down on some homes in Pope County a little bit earlier this afternoon. Geyer Springs, you're hearing those tornado sirens going off as well as Woodyardville and uh, over toward the Little Rock metro area. Again, that tornado warning still officially in effect. Again, although we did say that, that, that circulation in indicated, at least on radar, that it was weakening. The warning is still in effect until 6 o'clock. There were also indications on radar, as Jeff showed you just a few moments ago, of some very strong winds in excess of 60 or 70 miles per hour running along uh, Highway 10 just to the northwest of the Little Rock metro area. Certainly, these thunderstorms, tornado winds or straight line winds, could cause extensive damage and have caused extensive, extensive damage all afternoon in the areas that have been impacted. And those thunderstorms now just getting into the Little Rock metro area. Jeff? Well, what I'm looking at now is some of those very strong winds approaching the 430 bridge. So a uh, good idea if you can, if you're to avoid the 430 bridge, at least over the next few minutes or so, those winds will be very strong, especially over the open areas of the Arkansas River. The 430 bridge, of course, is very exposed, so you're a little bit more prone to some of those strong winds. But it looks like beyond that, that area of strong winds is going to move to the Crystal Hill area of North Little Rock as well as close to Maumel. So those of you around the uh, the Maumel exit along uh, near 430 and I-40, uh, be prepared for some strong damaging winds. This area of winds is moving pretty much in uh, this direction towards the east northeast so again that's going to take it towards the uh, the crystal hill area over towards uh, the vicinity of uh it looks like Wild River Country, that area, where we're going to get some of those strong winds going on through. So if you're in and around that area, especially along 430 and 40 or along Crystal Hill Road, be prepared for some strong, potentially damaging straight line winds. All right, Jeff, we do have that new severe thunderstorm warning that has come out. Uh, we were mentioning this a moment ago with the possibility of them extending that warning to the east. Severe thunderstorm warning now in effect for uh, the rest of Pulaski County, southeast Pulaski County, Dallas County, northwest Jefferson County, as well as Southeast Saline, Grant County, East Central Garland, Eastern Hot Spring, and Northwestern Cleveland County. These thunderstorms in an almost solid line and have been causing extensive wind damage over uh, a very extended period, Jeff, since they entered Western Arkansas and even in Eastern Oklahoma uh, several hours ago. Well, numerous, numerous reports of wind damage as those storms moved through Western Arkansas, some winds 60 to 70 miles per hour, and those storms still capable of producing 
having those type of wind gusts. Even though the tornado threat seems to have diminished, the strong wind threat has actually increased somewhat, especially with that storm moving through the Little Rock area and into North Little Rock. So uh, take this storm seriously. The tornado warning is set to expire in four minutes. However, the severe thunderstorm warnings will go beyond, well beyond 6 p.m. All right, let's take a look, a, a live look at Little Rock right now. Um, the cameras trained on some of the severe, severe weather moving through the Little Rock metro area. You can see the very gusty winds. Now, believe it or not, folks, what, what we're looking at at this point uh, is in what location is that? West Little Rock? Uh, looks West, West Little Rock. Um, this is not an example of severe thunderstorm winds. These trees are still standing. These winds could be even stronger than that. We have had numerous reports of trees down, so uh, don't uh, don't take any chances. You might need to shelter as if there were a tornado warning. Uh, if you live in a, a, a home that is near a large tree, or if you live in a mobile home or a manufactured home, and you are ahead of the storm, don't move out of that position. Position now, but if you're ahead of this storm as it moves east across the Little Rock area, move to a more sturdy location because we have that possibility of these winds being in excess of 70 miles per hour and they could easily blow over a manufactured home even if it's properly tied down. Uh, and again, Jeff is indicating at this point on radar, if we could switch to that radar view of those winds that do appear to be very strong, Jeff, in excess of 60, 70 miles per hour along Interstate 430, very near the 40 junction on the other side of the Arkansas River. But yeah, crossing over Crystal Hill Road right now near the Crystal Hill exit of I-40, and that's moving towards the North Little Rock area. It's actually heading very close to the North Little Rock Airport, as well as the uh, the, the National Weather Service area over at North Little Rock, over towards a Remount Road. Sylvan Hills, you are in the path of this storm as well. We're talking about some serious straight line winds. It looks like those winds actually continue to increase as we uh, as we go through time here. So this storm with the straight line wind damage actually looks like it's becoming more serious. That severe thunderstorm warning now has been extended farther out into time. It includes parts of Lono County now until 645. So this includes areas such as North Little Rock, Jacksonville, Sherwood. This severe thunderstorm warning now goes until 645. The main threat here is going to be some very strong straight line winds, possibly with exceeding Jeff, uh, 70 miles per hour. Just a few minutes ago, National Weather Service uh, indicating a report of a funnel cloud at 630 and Barrow Road. Once again, that is in the area under the tornado warning. Uh, I'm not sure how confirmed this is, but the National Weather Service relaying a report from about two minutes ago of a funnel cloud at 630 and Barrow Road. You folks uh, in the Little Rock metro area, you need to be in your safe location. Uh, at a minimum, we are looking at the possibility of uh, damaging thunderstorm winds and and at worst, uh, we are at least looking at the possibility of uh, some rotation still in that storm with a funnel cloud report a little while ago at 630 and Barrow Road. So for Pulaski County, Little Rock metro area, cross river into parts of North Little Rock, all the way down to the Benton Bryant area, uh, rural Saline County and the Alexander mailing address area, move to your safe location. That tornado warning will be in effect until 6 o'clock, although just a few minutes ago, National Weather Service indicated they probably would not extend that warning. We are getting at least indications that some very strong and damaging winds are occurring across portions of the Little Rock metro area. You need to take cover in a very sturdy location, Jeff. Yeah, I-40 and the Crystal Hill exit, that's the area of main concern at this point, and that is for strong straight line winds. The rotation it really has weakened. We, we got that an unconfirmed report of a funnel cloud near 630 in Barrow. Again, that was unconfirmed and on radar really not showing any Anything too significant in that area as far as uh, low-level rotation. It's close to the radar. If there was something there, it should be showing up on radar, and it's not. But what we are seeing on radar are some of those strong straight-line winds approaching North Little Rock, especially the uh, North Little Rock Airport area, Crystal Hill and I-40, and heading over towards a Remount Road, as well as the North Little Rock Airport. Uh, this is the area where I've drawn these lines. The storm moving from I-40 and Crystal Hill East North East towards Remount Road and the North Little Rock Airport area. Jeff, the National Weather Service is expiring the tornado warning for Pulaski and Saline counties. Once again, the tornado warning is being allowed to expire.